Hey everybody and welcome to the Bull Ring this week presented by our friends at HMS Motorsport. I'm Alan Deets along with Jess Ballard. And of course, if you're looking for uh, safety equipment or as you like to say, just to... to Travis, Travis hasn't taken me to HMS in a while. Yeah. Well, what would you buy at HMS? Nothing for myself. I like to go shopping for him. Like I feel like every time I go in, there's a new cute pair of you know, fire suit shoes. I don't know maybe. what you call those. Racing shoes. Racing shoes. Um, you could maybe get a Hans device for your big Dodge or something. You're right. Or wear or, it out or, on the road. Yeah, or a, 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 a seat. Yeah. yeah, a booster seat maybe. That would be... I wonder if they got one of those there. Probably not. Yeah. But they do got a lot of good stuff. That's true, and we appreciate HMS Motorsport. Taking a look at who we're going to have on the show today. We've got a lot of great guests for you, including Travis Benjamin, Corey Dozer, Jana Wimmer, Hunter Wright, and Mr. Richard Childress is going to join us after his driver, Kyle Busch's big win this past weekend. I'm very excited because we haven't talked to him since the, It was last year. Was it last mm-hmm. year? It, um, we, we talked about the PBR. He gave and, me the rundown on what the PBR is. Yep, and North Wilkesboro. Yes. Wow, it has been a long yes, time. Yes, it's been about a year. Uh, you know what time it is now, Jess, as always. It's time for the highlights. It's time for the highlights. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> Taking a look at what was on Racing America this past week. We started out Friday night by Flag Speedway. The Outlaws were in action. Cameron Henderson and Connor Sutton lead the field to green. Of course, Bubba Winslow and Timothy Watson, they're always good. They drop Sutton back to fourth. Winslow, he ends out up front with eight laps to go. Timothy Watson would power by for the lead and pull away to take the Outlaws win by a big margin. Saturday, the cars, late model stock cars, they were at Langley Speedway up in Virginia. Local favorites, Connor Hall and Butterbean Queen up front for the start. After dropping back a bit in the mid stages, Hall's charged back in the end to take the win in the 100th cars, late model stock race of all time. And we'll break that down even further. On Cars Tour Weekly. That's right, Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Jess and J.D. Bowsher this week will have you covered. Saturday, also Riverside Speedway up in New Hampshire. The Granite State Pro Stock Series was in action. Our first chance to broadcast them. Brandon Barker grabbed the lead early from the outside pole position, but it would be Pettit Motorsports teammates Joey Dwyer and and Travis Benjamin that would battle for the win. 65 laps to go. Benjamin slides by for the lead. He leads the rest of the way to take a dominating win and makes it two for two to start the Granite State Pro Stock Series season. Saturday, also, we were at Salem Speedway, and just it was a big weekend at Salem uh, for the CRA Super Series and Jig CRA All Stars. Have you been to Salem? Yes, one time. We talked about it last week. All I remember is Christian Eckes got food poisoning and couldn't want run the Arca race. <laughs> Well, that's a great memory, I'm sure, for Christian Eckes. Let's take a look at the Jig CRA All-Stars. Early on, Trey Craig, he made some contact with Brett Robinson, cutting Craig's tire down only to be safe from slamming the wall by, unfortunately, for Corey Dozer, his car. Will Kimmel dominated the early going, but was challenged after restart by Robinson, and they raced hard, yes. The two made contact entering turn one, eventually sending both to the rear. This hands the lead to Doozer, minus a door and all who take his first career, not first career, his first Jig CRA All-Stars win after 10 years. That is just crazy. That's a long way between Good wins. for him for, yeah, not, not losing hope. The ASA CRA Super Series was also in action. Chase Berta leading from the pole, only to be overtaken by Jordan Riddick and Gio Ruggiero. Riddick led until near halfway when Ruggiero would power by on the outside to take the lead. Ruggiero cruises the rest of the way for his first win at Salem in his first start there. And we may be creating a little bit of a a uh, new superstar here in Gio Ruggiero. Oh, you think? It's sure it's looking that way. It's shaping up that way, it yeah. It sure is looking that way. And on Sunday, Slinger Super Speedway up in Wisconsin, Pro Lake models were the headliners. Tyler Harodnica and Zach Greer on the front row for the start. I'm sure I butchered his name, but it'd be Ryan Goodnick and Jesse Bernhagen who find themselves out front. 
Once Bernhagen got the advantage, he pulled away to score his third pro late model win of the season at Slinger. And just that's the week that was racing across America. I just love our little, those little titles you've been coming up I with. got to figure out one for you. Jawing with Jess or something like that, maybe. <laughs> I don't love that one as much, but we can uh, roll it. We can work on that one. Well, we'll the, figure well, it what's out. What's the ASA one that we've been ASA having? ASA list. ASA list. I love that one. Yeah. Good yeah. job. It's a good job. That's why they pay you the big bucks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, when we come back, we're going to talk to three-time Oxford 250 winner Travis Benjamin about his big win at Riverside with the Granite State Pro Stock Series. And a little bit later on, don't forget, Richard Childress here on the board. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, sprint cars, and sports cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years' experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belts, seats, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schrode belts, Schubert helmets, and Valero base layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us online at hmsmotorsport.com where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. Be at Oxford Plain Speedway Sunday to see the stars and cars of the Oxford 250 as the past super late models hit the track. Past supers will battle it out for 150 green flag laps. Add in past modifieds and the Mad Bombers racing for $500 to win and you've got an afternoon of fast fun. Be at Oxford Plain Sunday, or you can catch it all on Racing America. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Hey, I'm Austin Dillon, and you're watching Racing America. Bad to have you back here with us on the Bull Ring this afternoon, presented by HMS Motorsport. Of course, if you're looking for all sorts of things, driver suits, uh, gloves. I say this every time. If you just want to go helmet, shopping. Yeah, you just would go and pick out some nice fire retardant underwear. Or, yep. Which literally is long, you know. It's like long johns. It's like long johns. It's not right. very cute. So, yeah, <laughs> probably a little warm for this time of year. Well, on the poll, our first guest this afternoon is the winner of the first two Granite State Pro Stock Series races of the season. That is Travis Benjamin. Travis, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Hey, you guys. I appreciate you having me. Well, first off, before I ask you about these races, what would you consider your driving status right now? Because you didn't race a lot last year. Um, and and this year you go out there and you've won these first two races. So are you kind of in a transition? Do you, do you still want to drive a lot? I mean, where are we right now? Um, it's kind of up in the air, to be honest with you. Um, my son is getting older and when he turned 13, it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks and that his childhood was going by way too fast. So the last two or three years, I just kind of want to slow down a little bit. And, um, so I'm, I'm still this year, I'm still just kind of picking it, picking and choosing. And when we got nothing going on, we're going to go race. I still love it. There's no question in my mind, but his childhood is going to come first. <laughs> you know, uh, Travis and Jess, my son Clinton will be 13 in August. And I know exactly what you're talking about i was like yeah. holy cow where did this go he's gonna be graduating high school in five years yeah my son's 16 he turned oh. 16 in july and you know 
Like I said, it, honestly, like it hit me. He was playing in one of his little league games when he was 12, and I was off racing, and he had a great game, and I missed it, and it just it just didn't seem right. <laughs> This could have been a Father's Day show if yeah, we had just waited a week. I was going to say, I just want to, I want to keep talking. Like, so obviously, sounds like your 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 sons are in their own sports. Do they like going to the racetrack with you? Is it a family affair when you go to the racetrack, or is everyone kind of doing their own thing? So I only have one son, and um, you know he's he's hit or miss. He when we were racing go karts with him. We'd wake up in the morning, some days he'd want to go, and some days he'd want to go late, you know, and, and I let him choose what he wanted to do. And when he was 13, I put him in one of Peter's cars for the first time at Oxford, and he was two-tenths of a second in practice off me, first time in the car. And then after that, he never really wanted to. But right now, he's getting ready to dirt, dirt bikes. So we've been racing dirt bikes, not racing them yet, but we've been practicing with the dirt bikes, with, and, and our goal is by the end of the by the end of the summer, we'll go race some dirt bikes, and he's starting to get into it. I, I, I could see it. I could see him getting the bug pretty soon. So, we'll see what happens in the next couple of years. Now, Colby is your nephew, right? That's my cousin. He's your cousin, and he's running yeah. super late models over at Oxford. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a family tradition. There's no question. You know, my father, he loves him. My, my two uncles, and you know, everybody, everybody really loves it. My son just hasn't quite got that bug yet. You know. And, Honestly, I mean, if he doesn't get it, that's fine by me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure having this, you know, streak of, of awesome races makes it a little more difficult to not want to be at the racetrack every single every single weekend. So, do you know when your next race is? Uh, we're actually going to go to Oxford this weekend. You know, we we run the first race down the Saturday night show at Oxford, the first race, and we were good there. We started ninth in our heat race, and we. We were leading in six laps, and then in the feature we finished six. I mean fourth, um, but that was a pretty good day considering the last couple, two or three years, you know. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna kind of play it by ear, and when we want to go racing, we're gonna go racing. What was the the thought process? You'd mentioned Peter Pettit, your car owner. Um, you're in the the red and black seven, and Joey Dwyer's in the black and red seven. Um, sometimes we've seen teams go from single car teams to multi-car teams and it not work, but it, it seems like at least so far that, that things are going well. Yeah. You know, Joey and I have always gotten along really well. And the last couple of years we tried doing a few different things. You know, we tried doing the drive development thing and we tried doing just cutting back and just nothing was really working. And over the winter, you know, Peter and I kind of sat down and he, Peter loves racing. He wants to go racing every weekend and, and it's not right for me to tell him he can't go racing. So, you know, Joey was kind of available, I think. And, you know, he, we felt like he was going to add a lot to the team and make us better. And I think it's going to work out really good. Well, speaking of going racing every weekend, are we going to see you guys up at the Oxford 250? that's the plan you know that's always a race i look forward to last year was very disappointing so we got something to prove um looking at these uh granite state races so far uh i wasn't able to to watch the first one i think it was at star but i watched this past week at um at um where was it riverside <laughs> There's too many races. <laughs> too many races. Um, tell me about the strategy because you dropped back a little bit there at the beginning of the race. Did you have a lap where you said, "Okay, when we get here, I can I can go," or or even once you got back out in the lead, did you have to to save some? Well, at start, to be honest with you, we we didn't qualify very. You know, we were pretty fast in practice, and we didn't qualify very well. Once I got to third, honestly, I hate to say this, I was pretty happy, you know, after, like I said, after the last couple of years, but then the car had more and we just kept reeling them in and, you know, and the, the car took off and it was kind of the same thing this last weekend. We, we qualified pretty well th this last weekend, which we honestly qualified better than I thought we would. And, um, yeah, just, I just kind of was trying to save my stuff, you know, and save my stuff and. Then Joey and and Brandon started racing pretty hard, and that, that got me to him, you know what I'm saying? So then once Joey cleared him, my car kind of took off again. Well, Travis, congratulations on the start of the season. Of course, Racing America will be at Oxford on Saturday and Sunday. We look forward to watching you, and good luck this weekend. 
Yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate everything you guys do for us. All right. That's Travis Benjamin, three-time Oxford 250 winner. Coming up next, we're going to talk to our Jig CRA All-Stars winner from this past weekend at Salem. It's Corey Deuce. Ready to take your brand to the next level? At Victory Lane Design, we can help. If you are looking for a professional website, cutting edge logo, a hero card that separates you from the pack, or video production to keep you connected with your fans, then check out VictoryLaneDesign.com, where winning counts. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market, aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials, tested tough for optimum performance, the highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. Mark your calendars for Thursday, June 15th, and a wild night of short track racing at State Park Speedway. See some of Wisconsin's top super late model stars compete on the tough quarter mile in the Flip Merwin Memorial. Add in the Bandoleros and more for a night of full family entertainment. It's all at State Park Speedway Thursday, June 15th. Racing starts at 6.30. You can see it only on Racing America. Uh, I think when I think about going to Martinsville for the first time, that's where I think about, you know, it was just absolutely insane. You have to kind of get a feel of how, when to give and when to take. You know, you're beating and banging all day long. And I think the first time there, I pretty much hit every single corner of the truck. So it was, uh, it was interesting to say the least. And I think it, it's one of those places that's just every driver loves to go to. Welcome back to the Bull Ring presented by HMS Motorsport. I'm Alan Dietz along with Jess Ballard. And I don't know if you got the chance to watch this weekend the uh, uh, CRA mm -hmm. races at, uh, at Salem this past weekend. And if you watched early, you saw Jig CRA All Stars race. Joining us now is our ASA list driver this week, is the winner of the Jigs race that is Corey Deucer. First off, congratulations, Corey, and uh, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. Well, um, so how long has it been between wins? It's it's been a little bit of a dry spell. Yeah, is uh, we're coming up on about ten years there. So, uh, yeah, it was a little tired of talking about the the one from that long ago. So, <laughs> do you realize Jess was Jess was in? I don't. You weren't even a senior in high school ten years ago, were you? <laughs> No, that was slightly <laughs> insulting. Sorry. You <laughs> no, just got out that, of high school. That's crazy. Um, and I, I was looking at your Facebook page here and it just seemed like such a incredible celebration in victory lane. I know what that's like when you're just like, you can't get the monkey off your back and it's just, you know, it, it's when it's such a long time coming that moment in victory lane, I'm sure getting out of the car, I, I see all your crew guys just just totally drenching you in, yes. in water i mean it looked like everyone was just so excited yeah and i kind of told him uh at the beginning of the year i was like you know if we win i want to be like drenched in water i was like i need like everybody to have like as much water as possible and then i like i talked to him after the race i was like all right maybe a little bit too much water <laughs> let's let's pull it back next time hopefully the next time's not 10 more years but yeah. no it was it was definitely a lot of water <laughs> yeah yeah if you feel like you're getting waterboarded that's probably <laughs> probably a little bit too much water now that was a wild race saturday night i watched it right off the bat uh you lose your door when uh when trey craig's tire went down and then you got this uh, this great battle between Will Kimmel and Brett Robinson. You were right in the in the middle of all of that. Take me through the race, kind of how you plotted it out and how everything ended up working out for you. Yeah, we felt like uh, from the start we were going to have a a pretty you know pretty fast car 
from you know setting a track record so um our plan from the start was to just uh ride it out you know we were we were content with the fourth place starting spot uh felt like our car was going to be good on the long run and then we came out of two and and uh, Trey got into Brett there on the back and I saw the tire go down and I really kind of felt like I was in a, a position of, I, I don't think I can slow it down enough and I don't think I can speed up enough. So I'm going to, I'm going to just try and hopefully gun it and get around him. And it was probably about a little bit more. Once I saw the replay, it was a little bit more short than I thought, but, uh, yeah, once, once the door got ripped off, uh, I was, I was pretty, pretty discouraged. You know, I felt like, we put a lot of prep into this race. It's, it's a home race for us. So we were, we were discouraged and we were, weren't, didn't think we we're going to have the car to win, but uh, a couple of things played out and then we ended up behind Brett and Will there and they, they battled hard. And, you know, I've seen Will race a lot around Salem and street stocks and our cars. I've raced a lot around Brett. So I know that they were going to, uh, they were going to go for it. And uh, best thing I could do at that point with that damage, uh, from hitting the wall and then from the, the door flying off is just to to hope something happened and that it played in our favor. Explain Salem to me because I I know people compare it to Winchester. So I'm watching the race Saturday and you guys are up against the wall over in three and four and it looks just like Winchester. You don't race one and two the same way. Why is that? It's definitely changed over the years, especially uh, from last year to this year. They did a lot of patching. Probably you could see on the broadcast. So um, there's a couple, you know, sometimes you can see the street stock guys will end up a little bit up top. I think it's more of the way that the banking is set up. Uh, I don't I don't exactly know what causes causes it because you would you would think that it, you know, being like Winchester, because we pair, compare it to Winchester and Bristol a lot. You would think that it would be the same. Uh but it's always just been that that middle groove all the way through one and two and, and, you know, get that bottom run and down the back. Well, Corey, congratulations. It was great to see you get that win. I didn't realize it had been that long. But now, like you say, that winless streak is over. You're a winner. And uh, we wish you much more success this year uh, with the JCRA All-Stars Tour. I appreciate it. And hopefully that wins not 10 year, more years away. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not. Hopefully we're here in 10 years. You never can tell. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. That is a big deal in it. Jess. I know yeah. you've been a part of teams that, that have gone a ways and, and not won. And, and dry spells are the worst. And it's kind of like Ryan Blaney the other day. I think, you know, you can do it, but you almost get to a point where it's almost like, trying to get your first win again and you mm -hmm. got to get just over that hump to take that little bit of doubt out yeah i think at some point and i think it depends on your situation but at some point it goes from oh we're just having a lot of bad luck to oh this is a dry spell and once that like tone is set it just everything gets so much harder and but as you could see it makes the victory lane celebrations just that much better when it does finally happen well, we don't want you to go anywhere because after this break, NASCAR Hall of Fame car owner Richard Childress is going to join us to talk about this great start to the season this year for Kyle Busch, and he'll be with us right after this. Be in Oxford Plains Speedway Sunday to see the stars and cars of the Oxford 250 as the past super late models hit the track. Past supers will battle it out for 150 green flag laps. Add in past modifieds and the Mad Bombers racing for $500 to win, and you've got an afternoon of fast fun. Be at Oxford Plains Sunday, or you can catch it all on Racing America. Difficult. The green flag flies. We're underway in Milwaukee. Green flag back up. Milwaukee Mile. Putting on a good show, Hart. And he's fighting again here tonight in Milwaukee Mile. Right. 
SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Hey there, I'm Richard Childress and you're watching Racing America. It was, thank you. Yeah, I know Brexton's a, a huge fan of mine and uh, a great supporter, obviously. So it's really fun when your son is there to kind of celebrate and have a great time being able to jump the wall and come out there. I was shocked when he got there, you know, but um, asked, asked the NASCAR guys if he could go for a ride. We did that back in 2009 when I won the championship, and that was a moment that we'll never forget. We'll cherish that one forever, you know, so it was really fun, really cool. Did it again here today. Tried to accelerate down the back stretch to give him a little bit of pull on the race car, but the rear tires were smoked, so all it wanted to do was spin out. So uh, thankfully I kept it straight, but uh, we had fun, and uh, he likes that, so – one of these days, I'm sure he'll be reaching for the pedals himself. Well, that's what Kyle Busch had to say after his win at Gateway on Sunday. And joining us now, his car owner, Richard Childress. And Richard, uh, Kyle in the media center after the race was talking about, um, you know, Brixton being there and, and being able to ride in the car and everything. And I, I would think that you've got an appreciation of that just with, with – Austin and Ty and as much time as they've been able to spend with you through racing. Yeah, it's great. And Braxton, you know, I'm, he's got a contract for me to drive after Kyle retires. So, uh, he's, he's a, and he did, he won, uh, his races out there the other night when he was racing. And, uh, yeah, it does. I, I think back on when I had Austin and Ty and I'd carry him to the racetrack and, uh, you know, and let him watch and get on the box with me and spend time up there. And, uh, it was really neat when you can bring your family into it and give them an experience. Those are experiences to live with them for a lifetime. Yeah, that that's so great. And it seems like, you know, your team, your operation in, in the bushes, it's been a great fit. You guys have really clicked. And in your experience, when you, when you bring a new driver on, do you kind of know within like the first season whether or not it's going to be a good fit? Yes. Uh, thanks. I, I just feel that Kyle feels at home here. He feels that we're a we're a good family, a big family, and, and he we welcomed in our fa him into and Samantha and Braxton, the whole family into our family, and he fits in well with all our guys. And uh, he's just a neat guy to work with, and I enjoy working with him. And uh, he's a totally different person than you would think when you really get to spend a little time with him and talk about other things and other issues. Um, I know when we talked to you last year, um, and, and when you guys made the announcement that Kyle was coming over to, to drive for you, you said that Austin was a, was a real key part in, in making you guys approach him to start with and really making it happen. Yes, Austin came to me, you know, once Tyler had made his decisions, what he was going to do, uh, we decided then, I was, you know, I was looking at other opportunities and other things, and Austin said, Pop, Pop, what do you think about Kyle? Will you consider him or talk to him? I said, yeah, I'd love to talk to him. Who wouldn't, you know, a guy that's won to over 200 NASCAR races and uh, championships and everything that he's done, uh, yeah, he's just perfect for our team. And Austin played a huge role. None of this would have happened without Austin. Well, you guys have had a lot of great success. And, and last time we talked to you, uh, we were talking about uh, the PBR. And I know Austin is, is pretty involved in that as well. Can you give us uh, any updates on, on what's going on, on on that side of things? Yes. You know, Austin's our general manager, and uh, he's done a phenomenal job. He just amazes me. He, uh, on this draft, the PBR is in teams now, more than just one person. Uh, we got like seven uh, reserve spots that these guys, nobody can come and take. And then we got, uh, we call them practice riders. And uh, 
he's done a great job. We just signed Sage Kilsby, which is a seven-time champion. We got Josh Frost, which is kin to Lane Frost, who's a great rider. Uh, we've hired. Um, we got two more Brazilians. One of them won the Brazilian championship. The other one finished second to him. So we're pretty high on that one. And uh, then we also we got Boudreaux Campbell. We got uh, uh, Dalen Swearinger, Cooper Davis. And we got a lineup that's unbelievable next year. And uh, we're just all excited about what we're going to be doing. We're going to be in Greensboro, North Carolina on September 20th, 21st, 22nd, right in there. So you got to come and see it. It's going to be an amazing show for the Carolina Cowboys. Um, when you look at the sport now, because you've seen it through many machinations, through the, the Winston years and, and uh, – you know, through the post Dale Earnhardt years. And then I, I think in the 2010s where it kind of dipped a little bit, you know, this year you go back to North Wilkesboro for the all-star race. And that's the same year that NASCAR is going to run its first street race in a place like Chicago. With all that you've seen through the years, where do you, where do you think the sport's headed right now? Is it, can you plot out where it's headed right now? No, but I wish I could. You know, I just see it. So much growth still left in the sport. Our new TV contract is going to change a lot in our sport, uh, depending on who we get, where they take us. And I know NASCAR is working on the right uh, key media partners to bring in. Uh, I think it's going to be a – that will be one of the big deals where we go with that. Uh, this car, we need to just quit making changes on it and let us race it. Each year, they made more aero changes this year. So put everybody a little behind. We need two or three years of the same stuff to where we can build it and get it out and get it going. But it's a great car, puts on a great show. I'm excited about it. Okay, so we talked about North Wilkesboro. They spent a lot of money at Rockingham. Do you think we'll see NASCAR back at Rockingham? You know, I've talked to... Uh, Ben Kennedy, and he didn't say where we're going. He said the schedule is going to look totally different than what it does today. So I'm pretty excited to see what all they have up their sleeve. We've got Chicago. We've got these different tracks. Uh, don't be surprised that we may be at a dirt track again, somewhat, some other dirt track also. Well, Mr. Childress, I, uh, I could call you Richard, but I think that uh, – uh, what, I, listen, I, I, I know, but be you called him Richard. Listen, I know that, but uh, you know, you guys uh, deserve a lot of respect. And uh, as as much as the sport's grown, it, it's great to to still have you and the King and and so many people that that helped it to get where it's at. Congratulations on the win! I know a lot of folks are glad to see the success that you guys are having, and uh, we look for some more this year. All right, I'm looking for both of you down at Greensboro at the PBR on September 20th, 21st. I see you smiling there, Kate. I'm going to, I'm going to email Jimmy White. You, you hook us up and we'll be there. You got it. Okay. Thank you all. All right. Thanks. All right. When we come back, I'm putting that on the calendar. We are. I'm going to get to work on it as soon as we get off here. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk to Jana Wimmer about a little Thursday night racing at State Park speed. What creates a winning combination? Quality, focus, discipline, and most importantly, speed. At Pepper Jack Kennels, we provide exceptional water and land training services for hardworking retrievers. From leading in the field to leading on the track, together we establish winning dogs and a winning team. Devoted to retrievers and motorsports, we are Pepper Jack Kennels. Visit us online to learn more. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sports Cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years' experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belts, seats, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schroet belts, shoe 
Hubert helmets and Valero base layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us online at hmsmotorsport.com where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. Mark your calendars for Thursday, June 15th and a wild night of short track racing at State Park Speedway. See some of Wisconsin's top super late model stars compete on the tough quarter mile in the Flip Merwin Memorial. Add in the Bandoleros and more for a night of full family entertainment. It's all at State Park Speedway Thursday, June 15th. Racing starts at 6.30. You can see it only on Racing America. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. <laughs> Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. Well, I love whenever we have weeknight races here on Racing America, mm -hmm. Jess, and we're going to have one this week and for the next several weeks on Thursday nights at State Park Speedway up in Wisconsin. And joining us now from State Park, her good friend and compatriot, Jana Wimmer, and of course, her uh, in-laws uh, run the racetrack and you're right in the middle of everything. I sure am. <laughs> well, um, first off, I want to tell you, uh, we hated the first race this year. We couldn't broadcast. There were some technical issues, but we're going to be there this Thursday night. Of course, the Flip Merwin race is next week. That's a race we always love watching here on Racing America. How has the season uh, got kicked off for you guys so far? It was great, actually. We opened on a Saturday like we had the last uh, couple seasons, which has worked out really well for us. Um, everyone's always itching to get back to the racetrack, especially up here where it seems like the snow just melted. Uh, we brought in the Midwest trucks for the first race. We had a good, good super late model count. Great car counts across all the divisions. The stands were packed. The weather was beautiful. And we probably couldn't have asked for a better opening day. Yeah, I mean, checked all the boxes there. <laughs> I, and short track racing just seems we've seen a lot of great car counts this season and really the last few seasons. And it, it's just made for really, really great shows. What do you think the reason for these car counts are? You know, that's a good question. I felt like ours was down a couple of years ago. And over the last couple of years, it's just kind of seemed to steadily climb um, a little bit. And we had, I think, 14 super lates at our opener um, on Saturday, May 20th, which I thought was fantastic. Um, obviously, we have some series that come in later in the year with the ASA Midwest Tour and the Tundra Series. So sometimes you get those people that come out and try to practice a little bit uh, early. But I think that early in the year, it's really going to set the stage for having a good car count throughout the year. We have a couple rookies out there. We have some people like, you know, Justin Mondek or Travis Bull who have raced and Chris Weinkopf who have raced year after year after year and continue to be loyal. Um, so I think you're just seeing some of those up and comers who are getting into the super late models that are jumping up from those Midwest trucks, which are such a big deal around here. Um, and then also we just have a lot of loyal, you know, veteran guys um, that still come out and race every single week and i think that's the case with a lot of the tracks around here um and i i'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen this year now uh the change uh pace just a little bit and tell me if i'm mistaken now because again we there's so much that it's we probably yeah there's a good chance i am <laughs> scott or uh chris your husband is working with john DeAngelis full-time now correct yes yep that's correct and you've just taken a new job right I, I have a, I have many hats these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me about all of it. Uh, I know you guys are, are staying busy and, and, you know, you and I text a little bit and raising kids. I mean, it's just, it's gotta be busy, but at the same time, fun and challenging. Yes, it is. It's all of that. Um, as you mentioned, my husband is working full time with John DeAngelis this year, which they've had, um, 
trouble in their first two races, but at Madison on Friday, they raced really, really well. Um, I know he's been looking forward to that. They've worked together before and um, really have a lot to build on for this year. About a year ago, I purchased a screen printing and promotional um, branding company right here in Wausau. Um, so that's been fun and exciting in all of the things. Um, my kids are six and seven. They're in sports. And I recently, um, along with everything at the racetrack, which I've been helping out there a lot, um, I also will be the head coach of the girls hockey team, high school hockey team in the area again. So um, very oh my plate, but all very, very exciting things <laughs> that thankfully we all juggle together as a family. So how do you make time for racing and hockey? Uh, thankfully, they're like summer and winter, so there's not a lot of overlap, but I think that's the only <laughs> way I can make it work. We have a couple summer ice uh, this throughout in July um, with the girls, but yeah, thankfully, they're kind of polar opposites, so I can uh, I can balance it all somehow. <laughs> Tell me, um, going back to, to State Park, uh, as I said, we'll have the, the Flip Merwin next week, um, but you know, you talk about the crowd and I know you guys, your announcers, uh, everybody involved, you, you really do a lot to try to keep the, the crowd involved. And, and it seems like, um, maybe that, that helps them to want to get out there every week. Yeah, I think it definitely does. I mean, we've had, uh, Kurt Keen's been announcing, um, there since my in-laws bought it, which I think we're on. Oh gosh, you're 13, 12 or 13. So it's been a while. And he, he knows everything about every driver, probably any stat you could ever want to know. He has so much knowledge, but then he has so much fun um, up there announcing. Brandon, who announced with him the years, has actually moved into kind of our race director role this year. So I know Kirk's testing out some co-announcers, but he's fun. He knows so much. He's so knowledgeable. I know everyone loves listening to him over the loudspeakers. Um, then we've just, we've, We've been very lucky with really great crowds. We have a really great VIP area over in, uh, you know, turn four that always helps bring a lot of people out. And so it's just been really good. Well, Jenna, I appreciate you uh, joining us today. Uh, we love, I love watching races at State Park. I'm not just saying that. I love the size of the racetrack and, and the way that races and uh, can't wait to watch Thursday night course uh if you guys need anything at, at any time just let us know well do thank you very much for having me all right that's jen wimmer from state park speedway and as i said you'll be able to watch right here on racing america if you're up in wisconsin get out to state park thursday night when we come back we're going to have some great racing at national fairground speedway this weekend hunter wright he'll be one of the drivers to watch he'll join us next Ready to take your brand to the next level? At Victory Lane Design, we can help. If you are looking for a professional website, cutting edge logo, a hero card that separates you from the pack, or video production to keep you connected with your fans, then check out VictoryLaneDesign.com where winning counts. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. Be at Oxford Plains Speedway Sunday to see the stars and cars of the Oxford 250 as the past super late models hit the track. Past supers will battle it out for 150 green flag laps. Add in past modifieds and the Mad Bombers racing for $500 to win, and you've got an afternoon of fast fun. Be at Oxford Plains Sunday, or you can catch it all on Racing America.
HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sports Cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belts, seats, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schrode belts, Schubert helmets, and Valero base layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us online at hmsmotorsport.com, where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. Welcome back to the Bull Ring, presented by HMS Motorsport. She's Jeff Speller. I am Alan Dietz. And, you know, one of the great races you'll be able to watch this weekend on Racing America, or several races will be at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway Saturday night, Triple 50s, <laughs> Mods of Mayhem, Pro Trucks, and the local Pro Late Models. Joining us now, the man second in points at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway, that is Hunter Wright. And, Hunter, technically you're second, but you're only four points out of the lead, so uh, it's essentially a tie right now. Yes, sir. It's, um, it's pretty close. Um, I, I think the main difference right now is mostly just the qualifying points that's, that's separating us, but uh, it's pretty close. I think it was, a, it was a close points battle most of the year. Last year, it came down to the last race. Uh, we struggled had a had a rough run in the last race and lost it by a couple points to dylan so uh we're first and second again this year and uh hopefully we can uh, just keep having solid steady runs and stay in the top three all year and maybe try to go get us a championship well you've had a lot of success lately obviously so most people know your name for but for those of you that are watching that uh don't know hunter i gotta get on my hunter right soapbox here and tell everyone how great you are uh hunter travis and i always love to bring hunter to the racetrack with us if he's available uh especially at the snowball derby we've done a lot of snowball derbies together hunter is one of those guys that works on his own stuff he's so knowledgeable he's such a great guy and I just have to tell everyone that because I'm just, wow. I, I, I always get so, I'm so proud every time I see, I know how hard you and your family work uh, to have that success on the racetrack. So I just want to tell you that Travis and I are always rooting for you and we're very proud of you. And Alan and I have talked the last several weeks mm. about how competitive the local racing is at Nashville and to be competitive at your home track it says a lot because it's one of those tracks that, you know, it's a good race week in and week out. Yeah, I think Nashville probably has one of, uh, if not maybe even the strongest local pro late model field from week to week. I mean, there's so many fast cars locally here. And, uh, yeah, I definitely agree with you on that there's a lot of competition. It's tough to show up and run well you got to execute and they're almost all 100 lap races and they're definitely make it a little bit tougher to execute but yeah thank you for the nice words jess i actually just saw travis maybe last week or a couple weeks ago over at tri county i was over there working and ran into him he was spotting for maybe i think it was gavin bochel yeah so, uh, i just saw him a couple weeks ago i don't know if he told you or not no he didn't <laughs> well um <laughs> yeah i don't want to i want to get away from that i don't want to get travis in trouble or anything um the race this weekend being the triple 50s uh your 50 lap portion that's actually going to be fewer laps than a weekly show at nashville does that help you or do you like the races being a little bit longer the way we've been running this year it's gonna hurt us i, I think this we qualified this year has been seven but uh We've ran up front in the race. The longer the races go on, we've been better. But uh, we changed some stuff around uh, to try and hopefully qualify a little better and, and be a little bit better for the short run because we've been actually a lot better lap 50 and beyond all year than we have before lap 50. So I think it probably right now hurts us a little bit, but we've changed some things around to try and get better, and uh, hopefully we can make it a little bit more beneficial towards us. 
Well, we're looking forward to it. If you're around Nashville, try to get out to the fairgrounds this weekend. If not, watch here on Racing America. Hunter will be one of the drivers to watch. Good luck this weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. All right. That's Hunter Wright. He'll definitely be one to watch. Mm-hmm. What? I already gave analysis. my I already gave my speech on you Hunter. Did. That's, that's true. <laughs> what more do you want me to say? No, that's true. You did. You did a good job. All right. When we come back, we'll take a look at all the great racing action you'll be able to see here on Racing America this weekend. That'll be right after this. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. <laughs> Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sports Cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belts, seats, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schrode belts, shoe Hubert helmets and Valero base layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us online at hmsmotorsport.com where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. ASA returns to the Milwaukee Mile at Wisconsin State Fair Park. Father's Day, Sunday, June 18th, as Track Enterprises present the ASA Stars National Tour and ASA Midwest Tour. See the nation's top drivers with the best super late model stars in the Father's Day 100, presented by Hot Brothers Pizza. Four other great racing series will also be in action. Tickets available online at MilwaukeeMileRacing.com or at the gate on race day. For complete details, go to MilwaukeeMileRacing.com. Racing returns to Milwaukee, Sunday, June 18th. Welcome to Raceface Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Raceface Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Welcome back to the Bull Ring presented by HMS Motorsport. And around the corner, we got a lot of great. You love another good you? one. Another good one. You love <laughs> you love our little titled segments. Who knew it takes so little to impress you so much? I love a good theme, a good a good trophy, and mm-hmm. a good Alan Deet segment title. All right. Would you would you like to go around the corner? Let's go now? around the corner. Well, as we uh, said uh, with Jana Wimmer, uh, it'll be our first uh, chance Thursday to visit State Park Speedway up in Wausau, Wisconsin. Looking forward to that. Their featured action will be their super late model division. No racing on Friday. We'll let you recover. Okay. And then get ready for a big Saturday and Sunday here on Racing America. Saturday, the APC United Late Models back in action up in Canada. That'll be at Flambor- uh, Flamborough Speedway up in Ontario. Then Nashville, we talked about it with Hunter Wright. Triple 50s. Wow, it's going to be great. Pro trucks, mods of mayhem, and pro late models. That sounds like a very like energized evening at the fairgrounds. Yes. I'm, it, I'm bummed I won't be able to like be there, but, but I can watch on to, Racing America. That's exactly right. Also, uh, we'll be back at Owasso Speedway in Michigan. First time in a long time for us there at Owasso here on Racing America. The Jig CRA All-Stars will be featured there. And Oxford Plains Speedway, they're going to have a busy weekend. The Oxford Championship Series in action on Saturday. Last week, uh, of course, we were supposed to have the past super late models and past modifieds. That got rained out last Sunday. Mm -hmm. So this Sunday... 
Uh, it'll be a doubleheader weekend for us at Oxford Plains to pass super late models and pass modifieds. They'll be back again, uh, hoping to get it in this Sunday. And then Slinger Speedway, again, appointment viewing. We know every Sunday afternoon we can tune in and watch Slinger. Pro late models will be in action and more as we count down ever closer to the Slinger Nationals. I was about to say Oxford 250. Well, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> The, we are. That's true. And you know what? And, and we got a big anniversary year, right? 50 for uh, Oxford. We mm-hmm. got the uh, ASA reunion at um, yes. at uh, Anderson for the Red Bud in July. Yes. All of that great action will be right here on Racing America. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Can only see it here. And you know what? There's a lot of folks out there that, that may broadcast more races than we do. Can I say say something? I'll allow it. We put more emphasis on our events because there are fewer of them, and that is on purpose. That makes sense. We try to give these tracks to I proper think that's attention. Valid. Now, those other folks that's got thirty races are okay too. Just watch them when we're not on. <laughs> That was fair. That and, was fair. That's fair. All right. Uh, when we come back, we'll wrap up the show, and uh, I'll try not to get us any more trouble. That right, sounds good. Yep. Do your best. I'll try. Five-star bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market, aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials, tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five star. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Be at Oxford Plains Speedway Sunday to see the stars and cars of the Oxford 250 as the past super late models hit the track. Past supers will battle it out for 150 green flag laps. Add in past modifieds and the Mad Bombers racing for $500 to win, and you've got an afternoon of fast fun. Be at Oxford Plains Sunday or you can catch it all on Racing America. Welcome to RaceFace Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then RaceFace Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Well, the white flag is out. This one isn't as creative. Well, I think it is because the white flag means it's the last lap, and this is the last segment of the show. I want to thank all of our guests, Travis Benjamin, Corey Deucer, Jana Wimmer, Hunter Wright, and really appreciate Richard Childress for stopping by for a few minutes to be on the show today. Yeah. Uh, Remember, uh, Racing America is the place, if you're looking for news from the NASCAR Cup Series, or from your pavement uh, short tracks around the country, be sure to check out RacingAmerica.com and Racing America Social. Uh, found out today our 24-7 channel that uh, is on select connected devices mm-hmm. for free. Mm-hmm. Soon going to be on Roku. <gasps> yep. Really? Here in the next month or two. That's going to just um, like subtract a, a step for me when I'm putting it on the TV. Yep. Yep, Sweet. you'll be able to check that out, but uh, we're already on a lot of connected devices, including LG TVs, which is where I watch it. Mm-hmm. And uh, tomorrow, if you're watching on another day, it won't be tomorrow, but 
Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You and uh, J.D. Bowsher, Cars Tour Weekly, got a big show, uh, Connor Hall and Mini Tyrell. Yeah, that that's going to be... It's going to be a good show. Can we contract you out to make some fancy uh, titles for us mm, for that show? I don't know. Okay. But we're not going to have Butt Bean McQueen on <laughs> or Butter Bean Queen, but we will be talking about him, right? That's right. Okay. Well, uh, for Jess Ballard, I'm Alan Dietz. We're thanking you for watching today. Be sure to check out Cars Tour Weekly tomorrow. All the great racing action that we've got here on Racing America this weekend. We'll see you back for the boring. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety, providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, Sprint Cars, and Sports Cars drivers. From grassroots to professional racers, HMS Motorsport has over 25 years experience outfitting drivers with the best gear on the market. Equipped with first-hand product knowledge, our experts are ready to help you select the best harness belt, seats, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. HMS is even the exclusive importer for Schroed belts, shoe helmets and Valero base layers. Visit one of our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina or Danvers, Massachusetts or check us online at hmsmotorsport.com where you can learn the details of our products and order online. Safety starts here. Be at Oxford Plains Speedway Sunday to see the stars and cars of the Oxford 250 as the past super late models hit the track. Past supers will battle it out for 150 green flag laps. Add in past modifieds and the Mad Bombers racing for $500 to win, and you've got an afternoon of fast fun. Be at Oxford Plain Sunday, or you can catch it all on Racing America. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Mark your calendars for Thursday, June 15th, and a wild night of short track racing at State Park Speedway. See some of Wisconsin's top super late model stars compete on the tough quarter mile in the Flip Merwin Memorial. Add in the Bandoleros and more for a night of full family entertainment. It's all at State Park Speedway Thursday, June 15th. Racing starts at 6.30. You can see it only on Racing America.